One, a social situation in which the collective program of human existence deteriorates at a rate faster than the ability to produce new programs of existence. Two, distance from the Earth to the Moon. A sheet of cigarette paper so fine it would take a thousand of them to make a millimeter folded into 49 times in a row. Distance from the Earth to the Sun, ditto, folded into 58 times in a row. Distance from Pluto to the sun, the same again, by folding it four more times, you're just about there. But fold it five more times, you pass Pluto by some three billion kilometers. Distance from Earth to Alpha Centauri, 15 more foldings. Three. Moving down from our feet, we find the lithosphere, the crust, the upper mantle, the mantle, the asthenosphere, the outer core, and the inner core. Moving up from our heads, the trophosphere, stratosphere, the mesosphere, the thermosphere. Four. Eleven. Distance from me is an intuitive tool to calculate distances in a straight line between current positions and any locations in yards or miles or kilometers. You can specify the location manually or search with a search engine. Voice search is included and share it with your friends. Twelve. Distance between addresses. Draw a circle tool. Draw a rectangular tool. Distance calculator. Elevation calculator. Latitude and longitude finder. Batch geocode tool. Free map. How far is it between? Find the distance between two name points on the Earth. You can decide which two points to measure and then find out the distance. I raise pigeons and it tells me the distance between towns and race stations in a straight line. 13. Why do I feel my friend is keeping distance from me? There could be any number of reasons why your friend is keeping distance from you. The person secretly has a crush or is in love with you, but thinks. Six. Just before an airplane breaks the sound barrier, sound waves become visible on the wings of the plane. The sudden visibility of sound, just as sound ends, is an apt instance of that great pattern of being that reveals new and opposite forms, just as the earlier forms 
reach their peak performance. The movie, by sheer speeding up the mechanical, carried us from the world of sequence and connections into the world of creative configuration and structure. The message of the movie medium is that of transition from lineal connections to configurations. It is the transition that produced the now quite correct observation. If it works, it's obsolete. Tämä kelopuu on hylätty tänne kaatopaikalle. Elämä valuu puusta pois ja saa sen kiertymään itsensä ympäri. Voisinpa kiertyä itseeni ympäri ja ympäri, kunnes katoan. Sinun sanasi kiertyvät maapalloon ennemmin tai myöhemmin tai hajoavat taivaalle. Ne sykkivät, värähtelevät, ne ovat energiaa. Me olemme yksi keho, välillämme ei ole etäisyyttä. Sinä ja minä, maapallo ja keho. Me kierrymme toistemme ympärille. Kaikki on tässä, lähellä. Et ole kaukana. Viestisi on materiaa. Se on kuin maapallon kerrostumat. Sinun viestisi liikuttaa näitä kiviä. Puu kiertyy itsensä ympärille. Thank you.
Telephone cables obviously have not affected the magnetism of the Earth. However, in the late 1970s, there was some talk in the USSR of sighting all nuclear power stations beyond the Arctic Circle, away from densely populated regions. In this connection, the question was raised whether high-tension transmission lines radiating southward from the vicinity of the magnetic pole could perhaps in some way affect the Earth's magnetism. Such specialized problems would be part of joint activities uniting the human race the world over. We presume that the use of a world network of telegraph cables for such a purpose is undoubtedly more important than the transmission of commercial telegrams. Global communication by land, sea, rail, and ship require energy, past energy received by the planet and embodied in coal, peat, and the like is insufficient to maintain unifying communications among the inhabitants of the Earth. So use will have to be made of the force which gives rise to storms, hurricanes, and so on. A united humanity will become the consciousness of the planet Earth and of its relationships with other heavenly bodies. the ultimate revolution. Partly because of prevailing materialism and partly because of prevailing respectability, 19th century philosophers and men of science were not willing to investigate the odder facts of psychology for practical men, such as politicians, soldiers, and policemen to apply in the field of government. Thanks to the voluntary ignorance of our fathers, the advent of the ultimate revolution was delayed for five or six generations.
Now raise your head a little higher. Hold on to the grass if you feel giddy and look out beyond the belt of vapor beneath us into the sea. I looked dizzily and beheld a wide expanse of ocean, a panorama more deplorably desolate no human imagination can conceive. To the right and left, as far as the eye could reach, their layout stretched like ramparts of the world, lines of horribly black and beetling cliff, whose character of gloom was but the more forcibly illustrated by the surface which reared high up against its white and ghastly crest, howling and shrieking forever. Just opposite the promontory upon whose apex we were placed, and at the distance of some five or six miles out at sea, there was visible a small, bleak-looking island, or more properly, its position was discernible through the wilderness of surge in which it was enveloped. Each moment added to its speed, to its headlong impetuosity. In five minutes, the whole sea, as far as Virg, was lashed into ungovernable fury. But it was between Osco and the coast that the main uproar held its sway. There, the vast bed of the waters, seamed and scarred into a thousand conflicting channels, burst suddenly into frenzied convulsion, heaving, boiling, hissing, gyrating in gigantic and innumerable vortices, and all whirling and plunging eastward with a rapidity which waters never elsewhere assume except in precipitous descents. Oloni on epätodellinen. Maa allani on epätodellinen. Mieleni on epätodellinen. Joten karkasin tänne lähettääkseni viestin sinulle. Katso. Niin kutsuttu luonto jatkuu täältä tuonne. Meren peittää epävakaa ei kenenkään maa, jonka alta kaikki on hävitetty. Esineet, elämä, kivet. Ja puut. Ihmisen käden piirtämä, koneen toteuttama. Täällä, tässä uudessa maassa, me kasvatamme uudet kehot, jotta voin tavoittaa sinut. Jos sinä olet totta, kuinka epätodellinen minun on oltava. Näen pilven, mutta en sinua.
Conscious time comes and goes. Black lives matter. Where are we? Grief. June 2020. The killing of George Floyd. The death of Freddie Gray. The death of Eric Garner. The shooting of Breonna Taylor. Unarmed in her home. June 2020. A cemetery in Craryville, New York, USA. You can find it heading north, just past Route 22. I lived on this road. I remember the graves, and I remember the epitaphs. There was one tombstone in the back, proudly inscribed with the name Nancy in boldface, 1850, but no last name. So I assumed she was a slave. These graves, the stones, are all broken now, teetering back and to the side the names effaced. There's another cemetery just up the road. If you leave your car and climb the embankment, you'll see many tombs of children. These stones once had the names and dates 1830s, the word smallpox ingrained on each. An emergency that lasts for a long time is not an emergency. It is simply life, natural force natural history. We plant seeds of all varieties and they grow like roots into shoots and they grow over time, are resistant, persistent, exist in grooves of support. I assume that I am inherently connected to many, to a complexity I feel but cannot exactly pinpoint. Breaking news, June 2020, New York, United States, Protests turn into looting and destruction. The stars are like letters that inscribe themselves at every moment in the sky. Everything in the world is full of signs. All events are coordinated. All things depend on each other. Everything breathes together. The body moves and it feels simultaneously. It moves as it feels. Every movement involves a change in feeling. The moving, sensing body is indeterminate, open to an elsewhere and an otherwise. A sea change, not a wave. I am no longer accepting things I cannot change. Angela Davis. Recently seen on Twitter, it's easier being in each other's presence or in each other's absence than in the constant presence of each other's absence. We sense too little and can't imagine enough. July 2020, on Fox News, Texas man dies of COVID after attending COVID party, thinking COVID was a hoax. I think I made a mistake, he said to his nurse, before dying. In the absurdity of every war, there is at least the advantage of the absurd. 
Albert Camus. July 2020. Astronomers discovered a vast wall across the southern border of the local cosmos. The South Pole wall, consisting of thousands of galaxies, beehives of trillions of stars, and a dark world, as well as dust and gas, aligned in a curtain arching across at least 700 million light years of space. It winds behind the dust, gas, and stars out of our galaxy, the Milky Way. I am no longer accepting things I cannot change. Angela Davis. Nobody can give you freedom. Nobody can give you equality or justice or anything. If you're a person, you take it. Malcolm X. In the absurdity of every war, there is at least the advantage of the absurd. Albert Camus. Minne minä kuulun? Kuulunko maailman kohtuun? Kohtuun, jota en näe, joka on kaikkialla ympärillämme. Minne olemme matkalla? Jos tämä olisi viimeinen paikka maailmassa, missä voin tuntea sinut, miksi en tunne mitään? Tämän siilon sisällä on voimakas inferno. Se nielaisee meidät kaikki. Minä tiedän sen. Se nielaisee kehoni, nämä kivet, kaupungin tuolla takana. Nostan käteni kohti taivasta, niin kuin antennit. Yritän tavoittaa sinut. Missä ikinä oletkin, kuuntelen siilon hengitystä. Sinusta ei jää muuta jäljelle, pelkkää öljyä. Oh, get to a new